Now, last week in Savannah was a very shootful week in the city of Savannah, but let me start off by saying a week before that, a bystander was killed as a result of the injuries and a shooting in the Live Oak neighborhood, according to police. Now, the case is now being investigated as a homicide because officers with the Savannah Police Department responded to the intersection of East 39th and Ash Streets on Monday, October the 5th at around 7.45 p.m. People in two separate vehicles were reportedly exchanging gunfire, according to Savannah Police Department. Officers arrived and found Cliff Rouse, who ages 57, in serious condition. He was taken to the hospital and died from his injuries days later. Now, further investigation revealed that Rouse was not involved in the incident and any other information about this case, I'll keep y'all updated as well. Now, on October the 12th, the Savannah Police Department has arrested a 13-year-old for the deadly shooting of another teen. Police responded to South Parkwood Drive and discovered 16-year-old gunshot victim. Uh, the teen died after being transported to Memorial Hospital. Of course, that's the hospital where all the gunshot victims go to. And according to the Savannah Police Department, officers located and detained the suspect shortly after the incident. With juveniles in this case, they're not going to release the suspect name. And also, my next piece of news, on Wednesday, October the 14th, the Savannah Police Department has arrested a suspect after shots were fired in the area of 31st Street and Wagichi Road. According to police, a shot spotter notification alerted officers to several shots being fired at about 11.45 a.m. Police say an officer in the area also heard the gunfire and re responded quickly. That officer witnessed a suspect vehicle fleeing the scene. The police department says the officer pursued the vehicle to Dean Forest Road and in Interstate I-16, where the pursuit ended without incident and the driver was taken into custody. Officers recovered a stolen firearm and two loaded magazines. Now, Gregory Darrell Gadsden Jr., who ages 27, was charged with reckless conduct, four counts of criminal damage to property, second degree possession of a firearm during the commission of a crime, theft of stolen property, and multiple traffic citations. Detective determined that the shots on 31st Street resulted in property damage to several residents. So it didn't seem like he had a true aim to like a, a particular house. It seemed like he was just spraying up the whole block as what the report is saying in this. But however, he's still locked up on these charges and any more updates about this, I'll let y'all know as well. But, and also on Wednesday afternoon, Chatham County Police Department was investigating a shooting that occurred off Katama Way off Crocker Road. That's Hampton Place that neighborhood. According to police, officers responded at about 1.45 p.m. and found a victim with multiple gunshot wounds. The victim was taken to the hospital. Police say 22-year-old Antonio Hamilton was shot multiple times in the chest. Police are searching for a suspect described as a black male with a light complexion wearing all black clothes and all black shoes, and he was seen running southbound from Katama in the direction of Berwick Lakes subdivision. Now, unfortunately for the police, they had to actually come back to this area later on at night when the Chatham County Police Department arrived after a juvenile was shot that night. Officers were called out to 11.41 p.m. to a shooting on Berwick Lakes Boulevard, that's the same area, to a house that was damaged in the incident. Police say the male juvenile was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And the police do believe that these two shootings are connected. Well, they know for a fact that they are connected. And also another shooting that happened last week on Thursday. On October 15th, the Savannah Police Department investigated a shooting on the 600 block of Emerald Drive that resulted in a adult male injured with what police are calling non-life-threatening injuries. So yeah, there's been a lot of shootings. There's been a few more shootings that happened. Some of them were shots fire incidents where nobody got hit. But this is quite a lot of shootings and this isn't even the summertime, the summertime ended. You usually hear about a lot of shootings in the summertime, but you know, there's an increase of gun violence all across Chatham County. So, so what's your take on all the gun violence that we see in the city of Savannah and Chatham County? 